here. How does it feel to, I guess, to shake loose and, and do what you did today? I mean, it feels good, honestly. Like, this last month and a half hasn't been easy. Like, there have been times I was wondering, like, what did I do to the point that led me to that mentally? And, like, obviously, I was thinking it was physically, like, my weight, so I was working on everything. But, like, honestly, the last two days of practice, I just said, bump it. I'm just going to go have fun and go be me, dance around, laugh, just be, be who I've been the last three years. And, well, two years. So then that's what I said I was going to do. How do you get back to that point? How do you realize that, that just go be yourself? Because I, at one point, I, I was just like thinking, I was like, bro, like, I just got to stop taking what everybody says too serious. And at times I do that too much. I take what Coach B has to say to heart because when it could do, help me change my life so far at this point. But then again, I was just like, you could care, but also at, at some, like, a certain level of, like, a certain amount, just not really just go be you, and no matter what somebody tells you, and that's what I did. I was really just chilling in my room, playing two I said, bro, you know what? It's just gonna be me. Specifically that- going into this game, was there anything different you did routine-wise, or what do you think made you have that energy for this game? It's bedlam. It's, like, <laughs> it's just bedlam. <laughs> uh, like, obviously, we love, we all love to be every, every team, every team in the Big 12. We play, it means something, but when it's when we when it's time to play little brother, you know, you gotta just it's time to beat up little brother at home, so and I have so much respect for you, but yeah. It is what with it you is. and Keelan being from Oklahoma, kind of what was that like with you all having that dynamic to feed off each other throughout this game? Oh it's great. If a lot of people know, uh a lot of people didn't see me, he just played it play like that in high school and we just said we we'll play like that in high school. We we'll bring it to college until somebody separates us. Coach Mike wanted both of us. He asked us if whatever path we have in the future, if, if it's together, then we want to keep doing the same thing. If not, then I guess that's the end of it. <laughs> hey, look, you talk about being me, being yourself today. How did that feel? How did it feel different than maybe the last month out there on the court? Like being me was to the point like I'm gonna just play and just go have fun instead of overthinking stuff like. I won't lie to you, like, the last month and a half, I've been really over thinking a lot of practice. I was like, don't do this, just focus on doing this today, and all this stuff, stuff. And then, like, I was like, man, you know what, that hasn't gotten me nowhere. And now, so I think about last year, what got me somewhere was to the point where I literally just said, just go be yourself, go be the best version of you. And if that doesn't work out, then that's when you just gotta just thug it out. And that's what I did today. I was just so happy because. I was happy for my guy Musa because this was his first Bedlam experience, and sure. and he he balled out. And then Reek, same thing on this side. So I was just happy. I was happy for my guys, and I was like happy. I was like, bro, it's this is the game we don't lose, and plus it was remembered to ten. And I never, I never, until like I never want to lose a game like that kind of game in this jersey. So when every time we play that, that just means everything got to be turned up a notch. Musa, for, for you. First bedlam, remember the 10, there's a lot today. What was your experience like? I mean, it was a great experience. And then it meant a lot to me because I know how it feel like to lose somebody. So I came out today, played play hard for them, played hard for my mom, <clears throat> and trying to give it all I got. So it was a, it meant a lot for me. Have you ever Who's said that? How did those dumps feel today, man? I mean, it was feel, it feel great. Like, that's that's what I really do. Like the best, like roll, like roll on the floor, roll and just dunking the ball, like when they tore it up. So I kept doing that. I was I was locking on those those live today. So yeah, it was it, it felt great. You you posted up more too than mm-hmm. usual. Was that something you were mm-hmm. emphasizing throughout the week or for today or what? Man, I've been working on those sports moves for for a while now. So it's gonna come out. Uh, you know, I do that every time I practice. They can't stop it. You can't stop the play, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. those little jumps, I'm I'm trying to master that and uh, keep that in my back. So yeah. You, you guys have lost some close games recently. Uh, here you got ahead. Uh, you guys kept your foot on the gas. Was there any discussion uh, in the second half of the game as far as what it was going to take to stay ahead? Oh uh, yeah, like. Mostly, like most of the losses, we won like on the um, 
first half we up or like we tight and then we relax. I feel like we get comfortable and then today I was like today is like a big game for us. It's like an important game to us. So we gotta we gotta stay locked into the end of the game. So I feel like everybody like everybody was locking, the guards was doing what they supposed to do, KB was doing what they're supposed to do, I was doing what I was Eric, everybody was doing what they supposed to do, playing like hard defense and stuff. So we was we was very much locking the whole